Midweek curries are often maligned by the foodies out there, and in a day and age when simplicity is often best, there is nothing wrong with a good midweek curry, as long as it has lots of flavor. I'm gonna take an Aussie staple, which is the Keens mustard powders and curry powders, and turn my midweek curry into something marvelous. The most important thing about being in the kitchen and doing a midweek curry is cutting out a few steps. You still want lots and lots of flavor, but you wanna minimize the amount of time you have to spend doing this dish. So we're gonna combine a few things. Normally you have to toast off your spices in your pot first. We're gonna mix them with the meat and toast them with the meat. So you're cutting out a step then. And the great thing about these little curry powders is all the spices are in there. So you don't have to toast off separate spices or put separate spices in a spice grinder. They all just go into the bowl. So we'll take a couple of big spoonfuls of this. This is the curry powder and half of that, so two to one, of the mustard powder. And then our meat goes in. So we'll pop our meat in, give it a good mix around, give it a good season as well, so a nice amount of salt. And then mix that all together. If you wanna get your hands in there, if you've got kids, get them to throw their hands in. The longer you can leave this, if you do have a little bit of time up your sleeve, the better off you're gonna be but you can just go straight away. So once you've got a nice coating over all of your meat, we'll get our pot on, and I'm gonna do it in a pressure cooker again. We're trying to cut out some steps and give you a little bit more time up your sleeve. If you don't have a pressure cooker, this can be put on a slow cooker, it'll take about three hours. In a pressure cooker, it's three to one, so it'll take us about an hour to get it done. So we'll get our heat on, a little bit of oil in our pot, let that heat up, and then we're gonna brown off our beef. I'm using chuck, you can use gravy, any of the secondary cuts because we're cooking for a long time. And there's two reasons for that. One, it's nice and cheap. Secondary cuts are always cheaper, but the longer a curry cooks, the better it's going to taste. So that's why curries always taste better the next day because the flavors have a chance to mingle, relax, settle down. So you want something that can stand up to a long cooking time. So that's why the secondary cuts are good. That's the smell, any time I smell Keen's curry powder, it reminds me of my grandmother. My grandmother used to make a chow mein and curried scallops and always use Keen's curry powder. So it's, a, it's an older sort of condiment or a staple. It's been around for 100 years, but it's been reinvented by a lot of young chefs now. We're using it in replacements of normal spice mixes, one, to save us time, and two, because the flavors are really good. Nice bit of heat in there, we can just throw this straight in. It's got some nice color on it now. It knows the smell in the room is exactly what you want. You're always told when cooking your curry, you want things to be aromatic. You want to be able to smell the spices and we can definitely do that. So our meat's gonna come out. Oh, so then a little bit more oil goes in, same pan. I'm gonna to toast off our fresh aromats now. Onion, one brown onion goes in. Our chili, one chili chopped. Some garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic sliced. And then I'm gonna grate some ginger in there. So we'll grate the ginger in. And you wanna cook that for about five minutes until your onions are nice and translucent. And then we'll go to the next step. So curries are about steps, laying flavor on top of flavor, on top of flavor. Ginger in. Give it a mix. And we'll let that cook down for about five minutes till it's nice and soft and we've brought the next layer of flavor out of what we've got in the pan. Next step is our tomato paste. So we're just gonna add a little bit of richness with a tablespoon of tomato paste. Pop that in. And anytime you're adding tomato paste to something, make sure you cook it out. It has a bit of a raw flavor if you don't do that. And you can smell the tomato paste changing in flavor. Straight back in with our meat. Give that another mix. And then our stock goes on top. Two cups of beef stock. And then this is a really rich dish with that beef stock. The beef that we're using is really luxurious, has a little bit of fat through it. So we're just gonna add the juice of a couple of lemons to help cut through that. So a nice bit of acidity. We've got one last stir, get everything off the bottom. And then we'll pop the lid on our pressure cooker, 
come back to it in about 45 minutes. Got there, I think. If that is the hardest part of the recipe, you know you're on a pretty good recipe. 45 minutes and we'll come back. Now the lid has been off for, I reckon, 15 minutes and I've let it reduce. I've tasted the gravy, the sauce that's all around that meat and it is absolutely divine. So now we just have to plate up. Pop it into a bowl. I'm just gonna serve this with some basmati rice. Now if you were inclined to a milder curry, this has got a little bit of chili in it, then you can still go with this recipe, but just put a nice little dollop of yogurt on top and that'll soften things a little bit as far as the heat goes in the curry. So serve it with some yogurt. Now this is a curry with lots of depth of flavor. It's gonna be better tomorrow if you put it in the fridge, take it to work. And it was made really quickly, which all good midweek curries should be. So there we go. That's my midweek Keens beef curry with some basmati rice and some yogurt if you don't like heat.